Hey guys, welcome back on this channel. Today I want to present you something again and this thing is in this bag here. It's a camouflage tent from Tragopan. To be precise it's a um, Cruise V+. And this is an amazing tent and I was able to test this out in the last few months. Tragopan was so kind and sent me this um, but I say my own opinion here in this video so I'm not forced to say anything um, all I say is my own opinion um, and that's why here standing advertising but now I would say let's build up this height and I will show you um, a bit how this looks like the great thing about this is that it's so small in the back it's about 50 by 50 centimeters so not big and you can easily put it on your on your bag or um, put it on the backpack so that's pretty pretty nice when you just want to build this up in um, so for a few hours somewhere in the forest or on the field you can build this up in I don't know probably under a minute um, because you just have to open the bag and put out the tent and then you just have to put it up and it builds it actually up for itself so that's pretty easy and then you have this kind of like flat tent and you just have to pull out um, this corner here and it's built up so what I want to do now is showing you the different um, sites and the first one is this one here and that's the door and that's where you get inside the tent and you can open this here and then you can go really really easy inside and the great thing is that it's not only a door it's also a big window um, so if I go inside and close it again I can show this you So as you can see, um, you can photograph out here, put out a lens or something and that's really great. On the next side you have this smaller window and this is great especially when you want to photograph shire animals. Um, honestly I not really use this here because I'm using um, the the other window on this side here, I will show this to you in a second um, the most. But if you want to photograph really shy animals, this is perfect. Because you only have this little open thing here where you can stick out your lens and you have this net where you can um, have a look at outside. You don't see that much, um, but it's perfect when you, for example, want to photograph, um, I don't know, probably foxes because they are really, really shy here in this region. So then this is perfect. The next side is this one here and I think this is the most important one for me. Um, because you, here you have like this smaller thing um, where you can stick out your lens and close it and then the animals have no chance to see you. But I think you don't need this um, that often. Um, but the great thing is that you can open this thing here. You can open this um, easily from inside with some strings. I just put it over um, like this now that I can show it you better. And then you have this thing here. Um, and there you have some different options um, what you can put in front of here. So that's really, really nice. Um, I really like to have this one here because there you can stick out your lens and you have a good overview over the situation from inside and the animals can't see you. And something that is really great about this tent um, is this thing here because you can open this totally and you can either use this to put out um, one of your tripod legs um, that you have a bit more space inside or when you want to photograph on ground level you can easily stick out your lens um, here on ground level. So that's a really good thing about this tent and not every camouflage tent has this. And then the last side is actually quite the same one than on the other side. Um, so you have this small window here where you can put out your lens. 
So this is what it looks like when I'm sitting inside the height. Um, I don't know how much you can see because it's black inside here. Um, that's because um, it makes it way harder to see um, something from outside. But as you can see, I have enough space to sit in here. Of course, normally I close this door here, um, but it's pretty, pretty comfortable to sit in here. Um, I like to have this small chair here. Um, I can easily put this in my backpack and fold it up when I'm on the field. And it makes it really, really nice um, and comfortable to sit here even for, I don't know, probably four or five hours. Um, so that's a great thing. And then I have my camera here on the tripod. Um, I put it out um, through this little window and I can easily film and photograph the animals um, from inside here. Okay guys, I hope you now have a little overview um, about this tent. And before I show you how I use this hide and how I photograph in, um, with this, I want to share a few of my experiences with you. Um, because I used this hide now for, I think, two or three months. And what I really, really like is that you're so um, flexible with this height. Um, because you can just grab it, put it up in under a minute and use it. And what I forgot in the beginning to say is that this height weighs about 3.45 kilograms and that's not much. You can easily put it um, on top of your backpack or just carry it under your arm or something. So that's really good. And last but not least, um, you have almost no mosquitoes inside because you have these little nets um, all around the height and it's so nice to sit inside if you wait for deer or for brown hair or whatever and you have no mosquitoes around you. Because if you're sitting in your gully um, suit, um, that can be really annoying. And also you can move inside this height because if you're sitting um, good camouflage in a gilly um, suit, you can't move for probably three, four hours and that it's really nice. And if you're thinking now about buying this height and I can only recommend it, make sure to use uh, um, discount code GINDELE5 um, because then you get 5% um, discount on your order. So check out the first link in the description below. Um, I can only recommend this height. I almost forgot to show you how you can um, put this tent back to the back because that's actually not that easy, especially in the beginning. Um, all you have to do is just grab one corner here and press it to the other corner. And then you have this flat tent again. And now actually, <laughs> the only thing you have to do is to grab one side of the tent and the other and like push it together and that feels not good um, because you feel like you break um, the tent but that's really flexible so that works and then you can see already that it wants in this position again so you have to push this together and you have this round little compact tent again um, you have to practice this a bit it needs kind of um, a few times that you know what you have to do um, try this out a few times and then you have this this band here that you can put over and you can just put it back into the back so try this out a few times and then that's going really fast and easy um, but now Let's really um, look how I use this tent in the nature when I'm photographing. So have fun! Okay guys, as you can probably see, it's evening now. And I'm on the way to a um, place where I see really often brown hair. So they are coming out here like every um, evening. And the problem is that I'm a bit late, so I have to be fast now. Because I think they are probably already out and that would not be good. But I will try it out now. I look for a good spot and then I will show you more. Okay, I think I found a good spot now. 
And now it's all about being fast, being quiet, and hope that no brown hair is coming out when I'm building up the tent. So yeah, let's do it. I'm sitting again in my hide, um, but it's really early in the morning. I think about half an hour before sunset, and it's really, really dark inside here. I set everything already up. I set up the um, camouflage tent already yesterday afternoon, and this was completely crazy because when I went here to set up the tent, I suddenly saw two deer standing right here at this place where I set up the tent and it was like middle day um, and I was really surprised and luckily I brought my camera with me so I was able to take some recordings they are not the best but they are quite okay um, unfortunately a man with a dog came and they ran away but it was in any case a really really nice encounter and now I just hope that the deer will come back and probably even some hairs. So yeah, it's time to cross the fingers again and see if something happens. Probably you can hear it, but it started raining a bit. And I'm sitting now here for about 20 minutes, but nothing happened. It's actually really good that it started to rain because I would love to take some recordings of the deer or the hares in the rain. But of course, they have to come at first. I really hope that they will appear today morning. But I'm optimistic. So let's wait a bit more. Okay guys. First visitor for today is here, and it's a brown hair. It's sitting about 20 meters away from the tent, and I think it's sitting there quite a long time, but I didn't recognize it um, because it's sitting in a pit here, in an angle where I can't see it that easy, um, and I have to turn my camera quite a lot to photograph it and film it. I really hope that it's coming a bit closer. But I think I was already able to take some really, really nice videos. And I'm really happy that I had the first small success for today. Started to rain quite really hard out. 
outside and that's pretty good so I hope that it's I'm stopping in probably 10 or 15 minutes but it's good when it's um, raining quite a lot now because then the um, trees are getting wet and when it stops raining here in the field the um, trees are still or the water is coming still from the trees and that makes the um, deer come out so I hope they will appear after this little rain shower. But I'm sitting now here for two and a half hours and not really happened something. Just this one little air. I hope something will happen soon. Okay guys, I decided now that I'm going home now. Because it's just raining all the time and it does not stop and nothing happens. I'm sitting here now for probably three and a half hours. So quite a long time and it's getting cold now because it's raining and then the air is getting cooler. Um, but I will come back today evening again if it's not raining that much or tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm going back home now, loading the batteries and then come back. So yeah, see you later. Okay guys, actually a lot happened since the last recording. It's about, yeah, three weeks later I was in Italy. Um, meanwhile, the video about this is coming, I think, next Saturday, so stay tuned. And I'm trying out um, now a new location, because I was sitting like, I think, seven or eight evenings for like four hours in this height and nothing happened. Um, I don't know why, because at this location I normally see brown hair nearly every evening and morning, but probably it was not the best time um, or I don't know. Um, but now I'm sitting here now on another spot and here I'm hoping for roe deer because nearly every deer shot I was able to take um, in the past I took here on this spot. So yeah, I can just hope now that something will show up. I guess they will come out a bit later, so probably even um, after sunset, but we will see. And it's time again to cross the fingers.
really, really great because a mother deer with its fawn was just appearing in a meadow in front of me, probably 20 meters in front of me. I have to be really, really quiet and I cannot turn on the light because then they run away. I'm filming them now for probably 15 minutes, so quite a long time. And I can also hear a male deer barking in the forest. <sighs> That's amazing. I was able to take wonderful recordings. <sighs> and they are so cute to watch. But the problem is that it's so dark now that I can almost not film them anymore. And the problem is that I think they won't disappear in the next half an hour. But then it's way too dark because I have to pack my, this um, tent I'm together and it's really hot in the darkness <sighs> but I don't want to go out now and scare them away that's a bit a problem but now I'm waiting a bit more okay guys um, it's about 10 minutes later now again and the little fawn moved slowly to the forest and the um, mother deer was walking behind it but it was just too dark to film it <laughs> that was an amazing encounter and without this tent it i had no chance to um be enough camouflage because these deer are really really shy but now when the deer run away or walked away i can also turn on the light so that you can see me in the end at least a little um I just wanted to say thanks again to Dragopan and if you're thinking of buying this tent and I can only recommend it because that's an amazing thing to sit in here and you can just move when you're waiting for the deer then make sure to use the um, code GINDELA5 um, so that you get 5% um, discount to your order and then I'm really looking forward to see you again next Saturday or check out this other video here where I photographed the deer probably a half a year ago or a year ago, I don't know. Um, but yeah, now I'm going back home and we see us either in this video or next Saturday. So have a great week. See you out there. Bye.